This is definitely sounding like the intro cinematic cutscene to a new zombies game. Ladies and gentlemen, drop a thumbs up and this is truly wild. Check this out. The COVID-19 pandemic shook the world and brought nations to their knees. The virus yep. took away lots of lives and continues to loom over us. But did you know there could be another contender waiting in line? A dangerous <clears throat> contender known as the zombie fungus. A fungus that hawks the- The Last of Us Netflix series shows brain-eating fungus. Damn, son. So they are really- The scientists really trying to play this in real life, bro. Brain and could potentially turn one into a zombie. It might sound like a work of fiction, but in the kingdom of fungus, the organisms range from edible mushrooms to nightmare-fueled parasites. The species of parasitic cordyceps are very real and are capable of creating zombified ants and other small insects. People are questioning whether the fungus could make a leap from preying on small insects to infecting humans. The resulting fungus. Dude, why is it every time some sort of like pandemic and stuff happen, they always show Indian people in the background? Is it because they have the biggest population? Yo, who has the biggest population? Everybody. Is it China? Is it, is, is it India? I believe both of them are neck to neck. But this is truly wild, bro. Like, you know, these scientists, they are always ready to play God, bro. Like, these scientists are crazy, man. Guy pandemic could lead to the collapse of societies. So let's see how the zombie fungus eliminates its victims. Cordyceps Holy. break the host insect's soft tissues and grows long stems outside the victim's body. The fungus Holy. essentially feeds on the brain of the victim. Spores enter the insect's body, which helps the fungus protect itself and reproduce. Questions of a probable zombie fungus, apocalypse rises from a famous Netflix series, The Last of Us, in which a fungus turns humans into zombies. And since more disturbing than the scariest horror film. How many of you guys have seen The Last of Us show? I have not, but I have played the games. Tendrils of death erupting from people's heads and fungus spores giving birth to zombies as viewers hooked to the show. Mm. Guys, like, it, it seems like that they are really preparing us to that. And already there are measures in places which uh, is understandable and that's actually really good that they have the US government and I'm pretty sure a lot of the other governments have measures in places they say that um, and, and the good news here is that like it's not no panic but I mean this is bad news what we're watching Bruh. but but there are measures in places that talks about hey the zombie virus or whatever if we ever have a zombies outbreak it's not gonna last and that's good news and I want to really force that upon you because uh, they definitely have some good measures on in place but but again though you never know right you never know and it seems like that this is <laughs> intro cinematic cutscene hopefully not hopefully not uh it's uh let's let's think positively i mean these scientists out there they're probably getting their their hands uh, they're probably rubbing their hands getting ready to experiment on this one there are certain things you do not experiment with and this is one of those things guys but now a reality check is a zombie fungi apocalypse possible the world health organization has identified 19 different threatening fungi Bruh. but cordyceps do not feature on that list experts say that the fungus could create zombified insects but the same happening to humans is not possible in the near future doctors have proven that human body temperature is too high scientists for... scientists would be like yeah give me give me the challenge i love the challenge let me create that let me prove you that you are wrong, wrong. most fungi to settle or even grow insects have a simpler nervous system than ours which makes it easier to infect their brain although the zombie fungi cannot infect us right now the hospital for tropical diseases in london warns that we are unprepared for dealing with a fungal pandemic yeah. if and when the time comes I guess uh, well, the good I, news is in a way it's good that we are preparing for that in a, in a way it's good that they they should work on that but again man there are so many bad apples out there you're telling me that somebody will not think of actually reverse engineering it so it, it can affect the humans I'm pretty sure there will be a lot of people like that getting ready to do that man a lot of scientists especially humankind does not have a zombie fate in the books but climate change and the COVID pandemic is slowly changing our planet which is slowly altering the environment and our bodies. So the question is, will the zombie fungus also mutate and evolve? 
Ladies and gentlemen, this Arab ghost hunter almost dies looking for it. This is something they do not want you seeing this. Check these videos out, guys, and I will see you right there.